with all of this turmoil, particularly this last week, has the president at any time thought about stepping down before or now? Uh, no, and I think that's an absolutely ridiculous question. That's April Ryan. She's a White House reporter for American Urban Radio Network. She's also a CNN contributor. She, was, she asked Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders if President Trump has ever thought about stepping down. This exchange adds to the series of noteworthy jabs that the two have thrown at each other, meaning April Ryan and Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Let's bring in Fox News political analyst Gianna Caldwell to get to the bottom of this. Gianna, what was your reaction when you saw this? Sensationalism, I tell you. April Ryan has said some very interesting things. She's questioned if the president has supported slavery. She said that a pie that uh, Sarah Sanders was making was perhaps fake. It was a fake pie. And when Sarah said, hey, I'll make you a pie, uh, <laughs> April says, she said, hey, if you're going to make a pie, I want to see you make it. And I still won't eat it because you guys don't like journalists. So, I mean, this is sensationalism. And obviously, for anyone that knows, the White House... Uh, these press briefings are very important. You get uh, Fox and everybody else, they stopped all, all stopped their programming just to tune in. So this is an opportunity for folks to really go viral. Yeah. And I think that may be some of the lines of thinking here. You're going to get yeah. more clicks. You're going to be talked about if you ask a sensational Gianna, this uh, question. Is, this is like straw man reporting, setting up something when there's no information there, asking a question where there's no information that the president is even going to think about stepping down. I mean, this is, to your point, you're right. This is not the first time April Ren uh, Ryan has asked such outlandish questions. Let's take a listen. The question is, does this administration believe, does this president believe slavery was wrong? Mr. President, will you give an apology for the statement yesterday? Mr. President, did you refer to African nations? Did you refer to African nations? Are you racist? April Ryan there, what do you think? Well, I think that the, the environment that's been created now is reality style, reality TV style journalism. And we see it with April Ryan. We see it with a number of other people. At the end of the day, people have gone from becoming or being journalists and really giving the facts and, and uh, providing that news, honest news coverage to, hey, I might have an opportunity to be famous. And I think a lot of people see it that way. Uh, we can talk about folks over at CNN that we've seen do it. We can talk about folks at other networks, wherever they may be. Uh, but that's clearly the environment that we've entered into. And it seems as though people aren't taking a job as seriously as they used to. And almost everything goes here. Yeah, bringing up the race card, I mean, it still is harkening back to the rally in Charlottesville. What's the strategy here, bringing up the race card? Well, obviously, I'm, uh, in legitimacy, that is a question that a lot of people are asking. So we have to give credit to the fact that that is an authentic question when people bring up the race car in certain situations. But we do see where people use the race car for legitimately everything. And that's when um, it does a disservice to legitimate racism. And I think that's where things become fairly problematic. And we've seen that done time and time again. We've seen it done with people asking questions to this administration in areas that clearly has nothing to do with race, perhaps even talking about baking a pie. So yeah, you it's, it's become a very dangerous it. territory. It sounds like that upsets you. Well, yeah, it, it certainly upsets me when you have millions of people in this country that have been marginalized to okay. some uh, some form or effect by racism. We can talk yeah. about slavery. Okay. We can talk about uh, Jim Crow. We can talk about All any right. number of issues. So certainly that upsets me. And I think it should upset anyone who knows yeah. what authentic racism is. All right. Thank you, Janet Caldwell. Good to see you, sir.